So for example two, um, we're going to need to think back to just a couple days ago, whenever we did our, uh, our, our um, uh, the notes that we took before this. <coughs> if you have three points on a circle, in this case the points are A, B, and C, if two of those points form the diameter, which they do because B and C crosses through the center of the circle, so B and C is the diameter, um, Thales' theorem said that the third point on that circle will form a right angle. And then on top of that, if you drew a radius from the center of that circle to that 90 degree angle, you would form two isosceles triangles, meaning this side is equal to this side, and this angle is equal to that angle, and then for the other triangle, that side is equal to that side, and then that angle is equal to that angle. Because isosceles triangles means that you have uh, two equal angles and two equal sides. <clears throat> so we're kind of we're kind of combining uh, the couple different things that we've learned. So if the measure of the uh, 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 if measure of angle OCA is 30 degrees. So if OCA, if this angle right here is 30 degrees, what is the measure of COA? Well, let's just ignore this triangle for a second and let's just look at triangle COA. OCA is 30 degrees. That means CAO is 30 degrees as well because A is on the other part of the circle. So the angle C is 30, the angle A is 30, so what's going to be the measure of angle COA? So what's this angle then? Well, if that's 30 and that's 30, these two have to add up with this one to equal 180 degrees. So the measure of COA is 180 minus 30 minus 30. 30 plus 30 is 60, 180 minus 60 is equal to 120 degrees. And that's not drawn to scale. This isn't actually 100. This is probably pretty close to 90 degrees, but um, this is not drawn to scale. This is just an example. So the measure of COA is going to be 120 degrees if this is 30 and if that was 30. Okay, so that was, um, that was an exercise of a couple days ago, but let's look at what we've been doing today. So what then would be the measure of angle a, B, C. <clears throat> okay, so this angle that we just found, um, uh, COA, we said this was 120 degrees. Well, COA is my central angle. So I'm just going to say the measure of angle COA is my central angle. And it's my central angle because the vertex is in the very center of the circle. And that's 120 degrees. <laughs> angle ABC is my inscribed angle. And it's inscribed because the vertex is on the circle and it's intersecting the circle at the same points that my central angle is. So that means this angle is going to be twice what this angle is. So if COA is 120, that means the measure of angle ABC, which let me move this up, which is my inscribed angle. will be half of my central. So 120 divided by 2 is equal to 60 degrees. <clears throat>